Today we're just going to do some scuff parkour, you know how it is. Just have a chill night, you know, good to yabu. <laughs> but without further ado, we're going to do some parkour warrior, we've got some quests for that. And then we're just going to throw ourselves into parkour dojo once we finish those up. Just, you know, chillax, chat with everyone. I'm excited that I finally get to announce, well, semi-announce, we've got to wait for the uh, the weekend or something. <laughs> I need to do that for me. Uh, to hear announcements on it fully, but I can start announcing the charity that we might, we're going to be doing. The big charity event. Woo! We'll raise so much for charity. Fuck yeah! <laughs> Sorry, I'm really excited. I like charity. I like, I like just doing good things. I mean, fuck people. I hate everyone. Burn down orphanages. Benja. Oh my god, it's Benja. Are you secretly not Benja? I'd believe that, to be fair. Okay, gotta go. Oh, okay. Hi, bye. Nice to meet you. <laughs> the carrying chains. God, that sounds like some Hellraiser stuff. And, and like, if Hellraiser was an anime protagonist movie, I could imagine just the main, the main antagonist going, Ch oh, I've forgotten the name of it already. Oh my god, selective memory. It absolutely hates me. God, if you put a pineapple in front of me and told me to remember it was named Bob, I could remember that. But if you if you told me to remember to name all my loved ones, God, you'd be lucky if I managed to name half. That pineapple named Bob was very important, okay? <laughs> Something I find interesting is, I could get so much better at Parkour Warrior, but I'm always afraid to fall off. Even though I, what I should probably be doing to get better is just continuously running and jumping and figuring out how to do that. Because now, eventually, you brute force your way to learn the fastest course. Like, you know, let, let's try that, actually. Like, see? It's a matter of brute force, at least for me. I don't learn like normal people. If I could just read a book and then be engaged and then consume its information, God, I would be a threat. But I can't do that. I can't do what normal people do. God had to nerf me some way. He'd know I'd be too dangerous if I could read books with an actual attention span. I'm in very high spirits at the moment. I don't know why. I'm just weird like that. <laughs> I made the joke. One, two, ha, ha, ha. I, it's Sesame Street. That's another thing. Like, I feel like you could make anything quality. And I, well, okay, I don't think you could make anything quality, I'll be honest. But I feel like there is a way to make a lot of things that you wouldn't think entertaining to a lot of people entertaining. And the perfect example of that is kids shows. Like, so we all watch Sesame Street when we were younger. This, we've got Bluey that's come around recently. I know, everyone, everyone's talking about Bluey. But the fact that Bluey is a a child show that somehow became a family show just by being good by being good alone in the right way i feel like there is different types of goods in society and we've well not society well yes in society society is one of them but i feel like there is so many different values of good like a good person could be you know a person who's nice and kind and looks out for others. A good job could be somewhere where you earn a lot of money or you're happy. I sound like a hipster. Please put me down. <laughs> I'm just having fun talking, thinking. I feel like how English is going to end up becoming is there's a chance it could end up going to the like dividing into so many different definitions that if you're a master with speaking, you could perfectly describe everything in the world. But if you're not, you'll be unable to, you'll sound like a fool. I feel like speaking would become an art, almost. A necessity for most people, but also an art. I mean, it's not to say it's not an art already, book writers and all that, but like, Something higher. I don't know. <laughs> ah! God damn it, I can't jump for the life of me. I can have existential thoughts, but I can't jump. God, can you rebalance my stats? Never give up, even when you know failure is in sight. Lol, nah, I think I understand. Herbity who? That's nice. Nothing's comforting about being understood, even if it's only a singular person. I don't know what's worse. To have ideas and thoughts, but have no one to share them with, and so you have no one to understand, or to have thoughts and stuff that you can share with other people, but no one understands it. I don't know which one's worse of the two. Because on one hand, like, you've got no one to speak to at all. 
But on the other hand, you've got people who will oppose you and think you wrong because they don't understand. I think that comes down to the, is it better to be an outcast from society that still, that still socializes? Or is it better to be an outcast without socialization? But throughout my life, I'm generally, a lot of my thoughts don't tend to be shared amongst others. Like, sure, maybe some of the core beliefs, like, you know, bringing a flamethrower to Casey's party is not the move to go. But, a good example, I always ask people, would they want to, if they could choose how many, uh, like, one of my favorite questions is, if you could choose how long you could live for, how long would you live for? My answer to that is always immortality. It may not be the right answer, but my answer is always immortality. The majority of the time, there's people don't tend to agree. They tend to be like, what are you on about, weird? You're an idiot. Go back to your corner. And like, why would you want to live forever? That seems silly. You'd get lonely. But I'd also be able to experience everything. Starting in three, two, one. But... <laughs> uh oh! Oh! Good thing the Australian lag was there to cover me. You know, I, it almost feels like a, not a superpower, but like, you know how adaptability is a thing, right? And how some animals evolve in such a way rapidly due to their, due to their environment and their surroundings. I feel like I've somehow entered some weird metaphorical similarity with that, with lag in Minecraft. Like, I, it, it's not the same, but I'm... Uh, actually, I've noticed in a lot of games. Like, whenever lag starts to kick in, I know how to react in a certain way, like, expecting the delay and somehow using it to my advantage. It's weird. Oh, I said it again. Window skips. You know, that ju the thought that entered my mind was a transparent version of skips from reg uh, regular show. I'll be honest. Just the window skips, and somehow that's where my mind immediately goes. You know who else is made of windows? No. <laughs> you know, you know who, you know who else is made? You know who else is made of glass? My mom! Oh, water. Oh. I just hit my elbow on a potato. I mean, no, not a potato, a table. Why would I have a potato on me? You know what? I'd actually could believe me having a potato on me. I'd call it Reginald. Reginald and Barry could get along together very nicely. I'm just a little guy with some cr weird ass thoughts sometimes, you know? I feel like I'm a madman that has like in, in a faraway land and just one or two people keep stopping by my weird ass tent and just listening to my mad ramblings. And you unfortunately seem to be the one finder today. We're now, we're now into the flow of craziness. How do I jump? Like, the springs in my legs seem to be unwound in- Oh, wait. Well. Oh, wait, shit, we've got 15 seconds. Do- oh, 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 oh. Come on, we've got to complete this in five minutes. Oh, that was really close. I was busy yet thinking on the matters of life, and then I nearly gave it all up. Hey, how old are you? You give eight-year-old vibes. I sometimes give 45-year-old vibes. Sometimes I get give immortal vibes, you know. Maybe I'm secretly 852. For all you know, I'm a fresh-looking 18-year-old. Or, I could be an ugly looking 19 year old. Or, I could secretly just be David Tennant, because he's very good at doing uh, impressions. Or at least accents. Pardon me, pardon me. Beep beep, ba da ba da ba 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 da ba bo bang! Wait, wasn't I just singing about lollipops? Play that back, was I singing about lollipops or have I lost my mind? Haha, -ha, secret, secret video techniques in the stream! Do you ever think there'll be a point where you can pr print out a perfect replica of a person? Do you think you'll ever run of, out of ink in the person printer? Maybe. Like, like one day you're printing people and then you're like, Oh no! I've run out of bones in the person printer! And like, their arm is has less bones than normal, so it's a bit more wibbly wobbly. I, I, I ran past the course. I need to restart. Ha <sighs> ha. Honestly, this hard map is not that hard. I thought it'd be a lot more harder considering... You know what? Never mind. I just restarted the whole course. <gasps> I already... Ah, stop skipping the bonus course. Oh my god! I, I said stop skipping the bonus course. Stop throwing me off the edge immediately. God, I know you want to send me into liminal spaces, but god. And I get up. I get up again, then I get down, then I get up again, I get up! So, time to actually ask my question. We all agree that Elmo's a communist, right? No? 
Listen, I have a lot of theories behind Elmo's communist propaganda theory. Elmo is a child who has lack, uh, who has people not paying attention to him because they're too busy paying attention to a goddamn rock. Weird, he talks about sharing constantly. That's because children are le told that sharing is caring. Oh my god, let a child exist. I'm not a communist. I'm just saying that children are told sharing is caring. I don't say I share. I don't say I care. Also, you watching this un in the future, aka all the past, my your future, my past. We're doing a big charity event, and hopefully this video comes out before then. But I can't promise anything, and I'm not going to force any deadlines upon anyone. But if it is, uh, on the uh, in between the seventh and the tenth of October, you'll find out officially if you check out my Twitter. I have never watched House Casting Mo Movie Castle. I know it's going to get me burnt to the stake, but I have never watched it. Never watched it. You know what? Let's just try and get the. Inf I restarted. Again. Actually, that reminds me. Twitch currently has this curse Reese's Pieces at. If you see, if you've been on Twitch recently, you know which one I'm talking about. And it's just demented. Basically, there's like this chocolate shoe. They're pouring the goddamn Reese's Penis. Uh, Reese. I said Reese's Penis. Weird, don't be mean. But I like being mean. I need everyone to know I hate them absolutely and I don't care for anyone whatsoever. And there's no evidence to prove otherwise. And I absolutely hate everyone. Entirely. I see, get whatever you got off the screen right now, uh, screen right now, off the screen. God, Australian lag does not let me just run in the middle and cheat this course. That'd be nice, but it doesn't let me do that. Ah! Wee! Buckle! I am the biggest jump man. That is a very adorable waving emote. I'll, I'll give you that. I mean, I think it's, I think it's below the list of how adorable Hank is, but that's because Hank is adorable. And, uh, but it's, it's, it, it might just be above, uh, Barry. Yes, yes, Barry must be in this video. <laughs> I'm bringing Barry in. <laughs> that goddamn pole. I didn't agree to this. Who put the pole there? I didn't want the pole. Can I return the pole? I, uh, can I question the pole? Can I question the pole why it's doing such a thing? Can I take the pole to therapy so it can heal? Bro is Minecraft e-girl now. I am? Since when? Man, since when have I been a Minecraft e-girl? This is not a Minecraft e-girl. You know what? Oh, screw it. This is the new YouTube outro. I am not a goddamn Minecraft e-girl. I know this is out of context for you lot on who's watching this in the future and my past, but someone called me an e-girl. I decided this is the new outro. Go watch my videos. Uh, I'm the scuffman. Ah!